Former undercover cops of Reddit, what is the craziest thing you had to do to not blow your cover? Not a former undercover cop, but I have a second-hand story about an undercover cop. So, this guy appears or of nowhere and befriends a relative of mine who was involved in illegal stuff. Dude was very friendly and just down to party. Had money. Paid for product. Everything. Would drop in on parties and even allegedly hooked up with hoes. Then he placed an order much larger than before. Few weeks later, relative of mine is arrested and is currently in prison. Craziest thing an undercover cop had to do to keep their cover? Buy drugs and fuck bitches. I must have been 15 when one day the doorbell rang and I opened the door to two guys looking very much like real tough street guys. They showed me their badges and asked for my mom or dad. Turned out that they wanted to stake out a public playground behind our garden that was used by some drug dealers for their mules, people drinking large amounts of water and puking up little packages with some substance in it. There was a multi-story bank near the playground, but the bank didn't want anything to do with it. So they asked my parents whether they could set up a surveillance team on our terrace for a couple of days. My parents allowed it. And my mom prepared food for the guys all week long. I know a guy who often went undercover as a junkie. He was committed. He'd stop showering for a while before a gig and piss on his tracksuit before going into work. He was so good that he managed to get the same dealer convicted twice in the space of a year, and they never suspected he was the rat. He had multiple police records under different names too. City cop here. We don't do too much long-term undercover, but our general orders have a policy covering use of drugs on duty in certain circumstances. While it doesn't specify that we can do drugs, it states that if we consume them we have to immediately respond to our department's health clinic for documentation and treatment. I once was the gardener for a cop who worked undercover in the sex trade to identify pimps slash traffickers and extract underage kids. She retired early due to mental health issues likely stemming from drug use during her time undercover. To keep cover she would do the drugs that were being offered slash used. Of course things spiraled out of control for her and suddenly she's on permanent paid leave and she stays in the house most days hiding from the world. So for her, what she did to keep cover is offer up her sanity in exchange for some successful arrests. My father worked for NCIS. He told me about an incident where his guys set up a sting to bust some drug suppliers, who turned out to be local police setting up their own sting. They figured it out when they tried to bust each other. Edit, grammar. My cousin was an undercover ATF agent. Anyway, they were trying to bust some guys for illegal alcohol distribution, and were building a rapport by going undercover. My cousin doesn't take his ATF badge with him when he's undercover because if anyone ever saw it, he could get shot. Anyway, some hot-headed black and white cops came over and started harassing them. My cousin couldn't blow his cover, but pretty soon the police started getting physical, and they beat crap out of my cousin and the guys he is trying to get evidence from. They take them all into the police station only to find out that my cousin is ATF. My cousin was pissed because cops aren't supposed to beat people up. He is currently filing a lawsuit against that police department. I have gone undercover online to infiltrate child pornography rings. Nothing too intense, but I had to interact with suspects online slash over phone who were fucking sick in the head and act like it was not the most vile shit in the world. Not very exciting but a guy that worked with me was going to this biker bar frequently to get in with a gang, drug related. He didn't want to get hammered and do something stupid, so he would take his beers into the bathroom with him dump out half and fill it with water. As a former correctional officer. We had a situation where a major police department planted a cop in the prison to get information on a guy they believed was orchestrating hits from inside the prison. The warden knew and I knew, by accident but not a single other CO knew, nor did any of the staff, including medical, and that's the way they wanted it. He went through receiving, he was categorized and placed. It was wild. He was there for a week, got the info they needed and got him out. 
It didn't become public knowledge that he was undercover until after I had left, and it was a long while after as they were making a case. That was a surreal moment. My friend used to be a state trooper. She told me about how she used to have to go undercover as a hooker to try to catch Johns. She didn't do so well though. She was far too polite, so they all knew something was up.